Oh, hi all, welcome back to the John Deere B restoration and tonight I'm going to pan you around here and we're looking at the engine oil pump. That is a typical type of oil pump you'll find in the bottom of the sump, engine sump on a Model A, Model B and a Model G. Um, the H is slightly different, the Model H. It's more of a larger casting of this way. Uh, but now that is your typical John Deere V oil pump. As you can see there's a a large screen area right round to filter out all the big bits of muck <laughs> and uh, then you obviously the oil filter uh, behind the pump does the rest of the work. Remember your oil pump pumps the oil through the filter so it pumps all the crud or anything that might be in the oil first through itself then through the filter and then the filtered oil is pumped to all the, um, the bearings, engine bearings. So yep yeah, that's pretty well what you've got. Uh, to take remove this screen you've got to take these two nipples off this nipple here is the main oil feed, that's the one that the pipe comes off at, feeds the crankshaft bearings and all the heavy duty bearings. This little one here uh, feeds the, it takes a line to the front of the engine to the tappets. So it goes through the block, through the head and feeds the tappets, valve tappets. So to remove this screen they say you've got to remove these nipples. As I do that I'm going to drop them into a little uh, bath of thinners just to clean them out there we go and that that is normally held on by a piece of wire you can see that groove there there's usually a bit of wire just holds this screen on there we go so we remove that to one side you can see the groove that the wire nips it in it just it's like a bit of lock wire that's all it is so yep, yeah, so there you go. These two blanks here I suspect are for helping with um, when they make the casting they'll drill through to get into another hole. So that hole, that, that obviously has an oil way through to that main tube. But they need to block it off so they put a, they tap the end of it and then put in a blank, blanking plug. Same again there. That will probably be the lubrication to um, the shaft or possibly another oil way into this pipe here, into this uh, fitting here, which was the tappet fitting. That one there is a blank. Uh, I just can't remember what's in there. Oh, yes, I do. That is actually the shaft for the other gear because of these are obviously two gear uh, pumps. And that hole there is the intake. So that sucks the oil in through the pump and then it's squidged out through as I say these two ports here. So we're going to turn it over. Oh, obviously I've slackened, uh, slackened these bolts off already. So there we go, get these bolts out. Drop them again into the thinners bottle. And use thinners because it, it really, just paint thinners, that's all it is. But it, um, it just helps clean the crud off the threads and it dries quickly as well. Uh, petrol does a good job as well. There we go, there's that one. And so the base should just, there we go, drop off. There it is. And there you can see the two gears, one, two, one's obviously driven on that long shaft. And if I turn it over we maybe see that working there. And then this, this one is driven by the other. And what happens is, is that the oil is drawn in, sucked in on one side and squeezed through the, round the outside. So it comes in here, round the outs comes in here, 
round the outside of the gear and squeezed out the other side. Some people seem to think that uh, the oil is squeezed through the gears. It's not. It's, it's, it's driven round the outside. So you can see there's some grooves in the bottom of the, uh, the bottom plate. They are to help with lubricating the two gears when they're sitting on the plate. That gasket there, this gasket here, is quite a critical thickness. Um, in the book it talks of it being, I forget what it is, but it's, it's only so many foul thick and that's what it has to be. So if you ever replace that gasket, make sure that uh, you replace it with the correct one. The idea is to give it the correct end float on these gears between the housing and that plate and so it doesn't all, all bind up. If obviously if the gasket's too thick then you're going to lose um, lose some oil pressure. Although they're not great, they're not high pressure oil pumps these in any manner of means, uh, they are big volume pumps. Um, if you look at the size of those gears, they are quite a big gear so there's a lot of oil can be pumped around these, these, um, these teeth. And that's why um, you get away with, uh, you know, low, 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 10 or 15 pound PSI. But again, the engine's not high revving, so you don't need the pressure. You just need volume. It's volume of oil. So that's what it's about, volume of oil. Let's see if this will come out. It's all going pear shape. There we go. So as I say, that's your fixed drive. Comes down from the camshaft. In the top of the engine, um, yep, like so, and then you have your little gear. There he is. That's the little gear. Um, sits in there. It's actually looking very good. Um, yeah, it looks very good. I'm quite pleased with that. It's a little bit of uh, water on there, but I cleaned it all out and then I pressure washed it out as well. Can't beat pressure washer, steam cleaner, to cleaning stuff out. There's not a lot more you can do with the thing. It's, it's a one-piece casting uh, and drilled to suit the holes. The various ports and stuff. So yeah, that's about as much as I can really say about it. It, um, it goes into the bottom of the of the crankcase from the bottom. If you see there, you can see studs, those three studs there, so it comes up over and is bolted up to the bottom of the gasket. So that's what we're on with at the moment. We'll get this put back together now. Well, sorry, <laughs> we'll get it cleaned up and then put back together and then we'll be ready to go to the track with. Okay then, I hope that's explained roughly what, how an oil pump works. Thank you. Bye.